Hey everybody, it's Paul. Your golf ball is covered in dimples, and did you know that some of those dimples create draws and some of them create fades? Stay tuned, and I'll tell you which ones do which. So in order to hit a draw, we need to have an inside-out swing path. And in order to hit a fade, we need an outside-in swing path. Now the club faces will come into equation also, but for this, we're sticking with path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I do it. I pick out a very specific single dimple on the golf ball, and that's what I swing at. So for my draw, I pick out an inside dimple, a dimple that's just inside the center of the golf ball, on the back edge inside. And I'll mark it here by pointing a T towards it. For a straight shot, I will try and look at a dimple straight at the very back of the ball. I'm not looking at the entire ball, just the dimple. And then for a fade, I'll pick out a dimple on the outside of the ball, just outside of center. And my eyes never leave that dimple. So we're talking about a, an object that's tiny, tiny little spot. If you aim small, you will miss small. If I aim at the full ball, then I'm not really focusing on what I'm trying to do. So we have inside dimple, back dimple, and outside dimple. So here's the example of picking an inside dimple. I pick out an inside dimple like I had the T pointing towards it and my swing path swings six degrees inside out and you can see the red line that represents my swing path and it is moving right of the target line which is the yellow line and it produces a little draw starts out to the right comes back to the middle so there's an inside dimple swing so that's a draw dimple so now I'm going to focus on the very back dimple straight dead square behind the golf ball I'm going to pick out one little dimple and swing at it and you can see that when I do that, my swing path goes down from six degrees inside out to about two, two and a half inside out. So this is a very, very straight shot. My club is traveling pretty well straight through the golf ball. We can see the red line that represents my swing path and it's almost dead straight following the yellow straight line. And this will produce a fairly tiny little draw that's almost dead straight. So I'm still a little tiny bit inside out, but it's very, very straight. So this brings us to our outside dimple. Outside edge of the golf ball, just slightly around the edge from center. And I'm approaching that now on a 1.7 degree outside in swing path, produces a tiny little fade, starts a little bit left of target, comes back to the target. So there's my outside dimple. So now we know which dimples produce hooks, which dimples produce slices, which ones produce straight shots, and so on and so on. So Approach your swing by focusing on a dimple and attacking that dimple, whether it's from the inside or the outside or from behind the ball. Work on it a little bit, practice, look at your data, and just watch the changes that happen. They'll happen right before your eyes. It won't take very long at all before you realize you don't need to be stuck with a slice or a hook if that's what's plaguing you. Aim small, miss small. Thanks for watching. I'm Paul Kelly.